Ahead of our votes today, I want to echo the concerns that have already been voiced by many of my colleagues in this chamber regarding the nomination of Alejandro Mayorkas to be the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. At this point, we're all very familiar with his long legacy of service on behalf of the people of the United States, so I'll just highlight one example of value that he'll bring to the table should the Senate vote to confirm him. When he served as USCIS director during the Obama administration, the inspector general was forced to investigate, quote, an extraordinary, end quote, number of internal allegations that Mayorkas was granting special access and special favors to wealthy EB-5 investor visa applicants linked to influential Democrats. When the IG took a closer look at the visa applications for three powerful Chinese nationals in particular, they came to the conclusion that if Mayorkas hadn't intervened, and I'm quoting, the matter would have been decided differently, end quote. Now, Mr. President, this is something that we know is inappropriate. We know that this is something for which Mr. Mayorkas should be held accountable. We know that this is something for which he has not been held accountable. And here is what he did. He put his thumb on the scale, pressured his DHS colleagues, pressured his DHS colleagues to break their own rules and turn the law on its head, all because a few powerful friends asked him to do it. He pressured others for the benefit of some powerful friends. And it is all there for everyone to read in the Inspector General's report. And yet, he was never held accountable. And yet, here we are being asked to support his nomination to the President's Cabinet. There are plenty of policy differences between myself and Mr. Mayorkas that have convinced me I have no choice but to stand in opposition to his confirmation. But the example I just cited in particular gives me additional serious concerns about how his influence would affect the integrity of the agency. Just last week, I joined several of my colleagues in a letter to the senior senator from Illinois asking him to exercise his judgment as the incoming chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee and allow for a second hearing so we could examine Mr. Mayorkas' record thoroughly. Because while I believe that the president has every right to assemble his cabinet, I also believe that the American people have every right to understand exactly who is being put in charge of enforcing our nation's immigration laws and keeping our borders secure.